Hi beautiful people, this is the Dream Medium and um, this reading is a soulmate connection reading. So this is for um, soulmates or twin flames um, who are in separation and would like to know how um, how does your person feel about you versus how do they feel about the other woman or the other man or the third party, the karmic, whatever name you put on um, their other connection. We're going to see how do they feel about you versus the other person, all right? So soulmate connection reading. How do they feel about the viewer? Let's see. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Soulmate connection reading. How do they feel about you? Soulmate connection reading. How do they feel about you? Let's see. So we're going to put how do they feel about you um, here on this side. I'm doing it a little bit differently because... I want you guys to um, be able to see both cards. Now we're going to see how do they feel about the other person. Let me do that again. How do they feel about the other person? Okay. How do they feel about the other person? How do they feel about the karmic, the third party? How do they feel about the other person? This is going to be very juicy. Let's push this over here. Sorry, you guys, that's my lighting. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. So let's just get started. All right. Over here to the left, the four cards on this side is about how do they feel about you. And then over here to the right is how do they feel about the other person, the other woman, the other man, the karmic, the third party. You know what I'm, what I'm trying to say. So what I'm seeing here, let's just talk about um, I'm trying to see which, which side should we choose. Um, okay. I'm going to start with how do they feel about the karmic? And then we're going to talk about how do they feel about you? Because I'm sensing a lot of really heavy and negative energy about how do they feel towards the third party or the other person? Really what I'm seeing here, um, with the king of cups is responsibilities, they feel obligated to be with this other person. It could be guilt. Maybe, you know, the other person, maybe there's history, like they've known the other person for a long time. And there were, um, there was once a time when they were heavily dependent on the other person to comfort them or to, um, help them with their their confidence, their self esteem. There was a point in time where your partner, right, your partner, your person, was very vulnerable, incredibly vulnerable, and they looked towards this other person to comfort them, to help them um, through, you know, unfortunate unfortunate times um so it's like they feel your person feels obligated to be there as well it's almost like them returning the favor your person feels your soulmate or your twin flame and i'm talking to you the viewer they feel obligated to be there for this other person um to comfort this other person there's definitely a lot of codependency between them and this other person um, it's so much to the point where it's toxic. Um, the level of dependency that the other person has on your soulmate is very toxic. And I'll tell you why. It's because the minute your person brings up 
you know, let's break up, let's separate, I'm not happy being with you, let's move forward, that's when the other person, you know, will pretty much react very dramatically. Like I'm seeing some of them, you know, making threats like if you leave my life, you know, I'm going to do this. I can't live without you, you know, just so codependent on your soulmate. Um, And so it makes your person, it makes your soulmate feel like they can never leave this other person. Um, Believe it or not, your soulmate is very, very empathetic. Some of you might find it hard to believe because you feel like they have been neglecting you and your needs, but they're very kind people. Your soulmate is very, very, very kind, very understanding, and a little bit too empathetic, but it could be because there was once a time where they were just as codependent on other people in their in their life. You know what I'm saying? Next, you have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is heavy confliction. Um, You know, I'm definitely seeing that your soulmate or your twin flame has been juggling two worlds, right? They've been juggling their connection with you and they've been juggling their connection with this other person, even even though this is a soulmate twin flame in separation reading, they have still still been very heavily energetically connected to you. So it almost seems like while there is a separation, they know that the connection has not stopped, that the feelings and the passion that they have for you is still very much there. So what's conflicting them is they're anxious. They're anxious to see what the outcome will be between you and them. But then they have this kind of obligation with the other person. And it's causing them to feel very, very frustrated because things are not going well. They're not genuinely satisfied with this other person. But then they're upset with how things are going between you and them. It's such... I don't know how your soulmate or your twin flame is doing this, how they're handling this because my head is starting to hurt. (laughs) My head is starting to hurt as I'm reading this. So I definitely feel bad that they feel this stressed out. Um, Next, you have the three of wands. Now, what I'm seeing here with the three of wands is resentment. Oh, my goodness. They have a lot of resentment towards the other person, and that's just because they don't want to be in this willingly. They, they, you know, this is this is an obligation. This is forced. Is not natural, and so they they tend to resent this other person um, a lot of times. Like the majority of the times, um, they don't really open up to this other person. It's kind of like a like a routine they see this connection or this I don't even want to say connection but they see this relationship with the other person as a routine it's like they feel like they have to be with this other person or they have to keep them in their life next you have the six of swords so the six of swords is even more obligation I'll tell you this you guys for those of you who are watching Don't think for a second that your soulmate or twin flame has not tried to get out of this situation to come forward because they have, but it's like every time they try to, their karmic, their third party, or just this other person here will find a way to keep them trapped. Maybe they have children together. That could be for a few of you where your twin flame or your soulmate has you know, a child or children from another person, or it could just be some, it's just, it's codependency for the majority of you guys. It's codependency is feeling that like really unhealthy, like a, it's like a contract basically. Like they have, they feel like they have to be together because they're both so damaged. It's kind of like misery loves company in a way. The two of them definitely need help. Um, and that's why they're both so codependent on each other, but it's like every time they, you know, 
take that step to move forward to come back to you there's a hold up there's an obstacle so don't think that they never try to come towards you it's just that they feel very much responsible for this person's happiness and it's just because at some point in time they made this person responsible for them as well for their happiness as well really hope that makes sense if it doesn't let me know in the comment section i'll clarify um so let's just talk about how do they feel about you okay starting here with the knight of cups they i'm seeing a lot of like indecision with them you know for sure that this person wants to be with you because they make it very clear through their actions but they can never officially commit it's like one day they're chasing you they're persistent they're pursuing you um they're giving you all the signs that they want to be with you but then they back away like when it's time to finally make a decision they pull away and that's just because they are indecisive um and the no, the fact that there's no communication, there's been separation, makes them feel even more doubtful of this connection. Like, some of them are not sure if you've moved on, if you would accept them back. But they know that you know how they're juggling you with someone else. They're aware of that. So when they come towards you with this night energy, it's just them knowing that you may not have a, a good perception of who who they are. Some of you may, might even feel like they are a player. Um, next, you have the Hierophant. So really what I'm seeing with the Hierophant is that eventually, sooner or later, there will be contact, there will be communication. I see the two of you really sitting down and having a serious discussion with each other on what you need to do to make this work because time is passing by but the connection is still there and so that's why it feels very stagnant right it feels very stagnant because nothing's happening but gosh are the feelings and emotions still there and so either you or them there's going to be a time where there's going to be a lot of frustration because of the lack of progression in this connection and Either you or them are going to be like, we need to talk or we need to go to dinner. Let's have lunch so we can talk about it because I know that you still want to be with me and you know that I still want to be with you. Next, you have the eight of pentacles. This is them. They see so much value. They absolutely value this connection with you so much to the point where I love the eight of pentacles because it's being abundant, being rewarded, but it's not you know, it's not success and a reward that's that will be handed to you. It's something that you have to work hard for. So I really see this person, um, they're willing to put in that hard work. They're willing to, to bring changes into the connection, especially to change certain bad habits that they have, you know, to make a difference in the connection. So, so that, um, Sorry, you guys, I kind of got distracted. Um, but it's really them putting in that hard work and that effort to um, have success with you. Next, you have the strength card. So the strength card, I'm getting the word forgiveness. There needs to be there needs to be forgiveness in this situation. There's a lot of like pain, like painful memories between the two of you. Um, it doesn't matter how long it has been because you haven't forgotten how they made you feel and they haven't either. So yes, the offer will come. The contact communication will come. The hard work, the hard work will be there. But the strength card is saying if you really want to make this work, you have to move forward, heal from what happened between the two of you and, you know, have a different outlook on this connection, especially because you will see from their actions that they really want to make this work. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, just remember, this is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading where I will, you know, do a spread, do a reading be about you and your person, it's going to be more accurate. If you would like a personal reading, visit my website. The link is in the description box. Um, and you can just visit my website. So thank you guys so much for watching and you have a great day.